I'm going to bring, let's start with her knee up to her chest. So bring this knee up towards your chest. And what I want you to do is hold on to that. So she can help me by starting out like this. And I'm going to bring this hand and help put her into more rotation while I lower this one in pain. And then I'm going to bring it and kind of over pressure it. Okay, so this one I'm not let go in, let, letting go, and this one I'm over pressuring in the anterior rotation. Okay, any questions? Positive finding? Pain. Okay, so I'm not going to change her knee position and go through a whole Thomas test. I'm just seeing if that produces a pain. Okay? Alright, which is the next one? Five thrust. Alright. How to get your hand on the sacrum. Roll your patient to the side and get your hand on your sacrum. And then you're going to bring your them off of your hand, your pelvis. So if you start out in this position, find the sacrum, roll them over your hand, a little bit of flexion and adduction, and then I'm going to push straight down. Okay? Anything. Okay? The hardest part for you is the stabilization. So you got to get your hand on the sacrum, over to the side, while you then put some force down. What does your hand look like? I know. Uh, what does this hand look like? <coughs> so this hand's coming. Let's see. This right hand's coming from underneath, and it's resting just like this on her sacrum. So when she rolls over, that allows the ilium to be sheared on the sacrum. Okay, so my fingers are pointing towards her head, heel my hand down on the base of the sink. Okay? Alright? Okay, next, around the sacral spring or thrust. Simple. Get your hand on the sacrum, spring it, anything. Okay? Next. Questions? Compression. Okay, compression is easy if I just do it in this position. All I do is push your ilium together. Go ahead and try to find. The other way I can do compression is to squeeze together on around the ASI. Okay, so all I'm going to do is squish together for compression. Let me show the next slide. And then for gapping or distraction, he's got his hands like this, pushing apart. It's much easier if you cross your hands. And all I'm going to do is this on the inside of the ASIS is, and I push apart. Pain provocation is positive. Okay? Next. Active slate, straight leg raise. Okay, all I'm going to have Kim do is she bends this leg. I can have her do it with the knee bent to help stabilize her spine, or both legs straight out. So you could do either, either way. All I'm going to have her do is go ahead and what I really want you to do is raise your leg up until I say stop, okay, stop. And I'll lower it. Any pain with that? Okay, what if she has pain? We don't know, we don't know where, right? So what I'm gonna do is, if I think it's an SI joint problem, is I'm gonna compress and stabilize. So the thought of this test is that when she raises her leg by herself, and she has hypermobility in her SI joint, it reproduces her symptoms. It's painful. If I now compress, now raise your leg, and it's pain-free, that suggests to me that she has an SI joint hypermobility. Everybody understand that? Okay. Good, you can shut it off. So I want 